What's going on guys? This is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com and today I am continuing the interview that I had just published the other day with Brian Winch from CleanLots.com. Brian basically picks up garbage for a living, uh, but Brian has a really interesting story and in today's video, he's going to answer a lot of the questions that I have related to this business model and really go into much more in depth into how someone can actually start this and it's totally feasible feasible to do and I think it's just awesome. The startup cost is like nothing. So make sure that you stay tuned for the whole video. As always, please click on the like button if you enjoy the video and also click on the subscribe button to become a subscriber of the channel and become part of the community and be able to talk to me. If you have questions or anything, please leave them in the comments. I'm sure Brian would love to hear them uh, and maybe we'll bring them back on if there's enough questions and he can answer some of those. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's crazy. I never, I never thought of that because that was going to be a question that I was going to ask. So, um, so okay, so you're so cleanlots.com. That is um, like about this whole opportunity and everything. Yeah, that's what the it, business. It, yeah, oh, sorry, it, that's the, that's the business opportunity website. Um, okay, okay. So if someone's interested in the opportunity or or wants to uh, to buy the book or, or even take a look at the the video I have up on the home page, which which basically shows me providing the service and you know how simple it is to do the work. It's almost like going for a walk. Uh, it, that's on the, the website. Okay, and, got it. Uh, and then what is, what is the, the, the cleaning brand, the brand behind this that you actually in your area, what is that? Is there another, another website for that? Or do you use the Google listings? Uh, well, the, the, the Google listing, yeah, would be for, um, anyone who's going to, um, start the cleaning business. Um, you would, you know, you would first claim the, the Google, my business listing, for example. And Got so it. we have another, uh, the company, um, uh, the company name for the cleaning business is something entirely different. The, okay, the okay. clean, you know, clean lots is the, uh, the business opportunity. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I just, I wanted to clear that up for people so that they understood that. Um, so yeah, so that's good. And it really is like, such a simple opportunity. It's like, it's like the most unsexy thing. And I loved it just because of that, because, because you told me that. And, you know, I was looking at it and I wrote about it in, in my, um, you know, my, my blog post that I did because like everyone always is so obsessed with the online stuff and the online stuff is great. Uh, but you know, there's also something to be said, especially with how many people are going online of these services, service businesses that are just plain pretty simple but are still necessary uh, for, you know, especially if it's business to business, that's probably the biggest thing. Um, so to me, that's why I just loved it is that it's just such a simple, you know, low cost thing. And really it's just kind of on the hustle to get a few clients. And then from there, I think, I think you're, you can kind of take and run with it. So um, that being said, so if someone, okay, Brian, someone's like, okay, Brian, I want to start today. Um, what are like, like generally speaking, what are the steps that they would have to take? to really get started in this. And I know that you have your, your whole ebook that really breaks everything down is, and it's totally reasonably priced by the way. Um, but uh, that being said, what, what would be their steps in the beginning to get going with this and you know, maybe nail down that first client? And then also I have to ask too, like how much can you charge to a client? Cause I think that's a question too. And I'm, I'm assuming it's a pretty decent amount just because it's a commercial client. But anyway, go ahead. Okay, well, every market uh, across the country is different. So in, in some areas, you can charge $30 an hour, and then there's others uh, upwards of 50 um, So it all depends. And you learn from experience. You, you get feedback from your prospects. Um, you know, you know, they might might comment, well, you know, uh, let, you know, let's sign this deal. But, you know, quite frankly, I, I, I'm paying more <laughs> or I'm used to paying more. And, you know, and, and a lot of your prospects will be uh, honest. And in some cases, they'll say, you know what, this is what you had quoted, but I'm going to pay you this. Uh, you know, I'll pay you more than what, what you had quoted. Um, and, and, you know, um, I'll be honest, too. I mean, this service is being done by somebody out there. Uh, it's not like it's, this is brand new and nobody's doing it. I mean, properties need to be maintained litter free. So it could be presently being done by a, a large landscape contractor who is kind of coerced into also providing the, the litter cleaning in addition to the snow removal and the, the landscape maintenance, or it could be uh, done by a very large, you know, cleaning company, uh, janitorial uh, company that offers a day porter service. And, and, you know, let, you know, let's be honest, they claim to provide every service under the sun. And what, what's the yeah. saying, Jack of all trades, master of none. Yep. So, so, you know, somebody is doing it, but uh, the reason this business model is successful is we can provide a better service for less money. And so there's a, is a little bit of educating 
your prospects with how this service model is a bit different. Uh, and, uh, but once you've done so and, and they experience your, your service and, you know, you the great customer service, you know, they love you and it, it, it gets easier and easier to, to get, uh, pick up more business because they'll, they'll start calling you property managers. They manage multiple properties. And so if you get your foot in the door and they try you out at one property, they like your service and the results, they're going to phone you up or email you, text you and say, Brian, you know, uh, or Don or Ron, uh, we've got more properties. Uh, can you go out and take a look at these, get back to us uh, with prices? And uh, and, and it, it just snowballs. The, the hardest part, I guess, is starting out like any business. But the longer you're in this business, the service, the easier it becomes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you usually do it um, hourly, I assume, not necessarily yeah, well, retainer. Yeah. The pricing is all explained in the book. Um, you, know, you know, it's not based in square footage. And, and the reason for that is you can have two identical properties and one is maybe largely uh, professional in nature. You've got lawyers, doctors, offices, et cetera, engineering companies. Uh, and then the other property, which has the same, you know, uh, square footage, maybe uh, they, uh, you know, pizza places, they sell pizza by the slice. There's a convenience store. There's a fast, you know, fast food restaurant. Uh, there's a school across the street. It's it, those types of businesses are going to generate more litter material. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, the people that frequent the property are going to, uh, you know, tend to litter more. Um, so everything is explained in the book on pricing as to how do you price your service. And it's based on time, you know, the time it takes to, to clean a property. And then after a while from experience, you can just look at one and say, you know, well, this is, you know, the, uh, this property for five day a week service is, you know, $700 a month or this one for three day a week service, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is uh, 395 a month, uh, et cetera. Got it. Got it. Yeah, that, that was my next question. So, so you're saying start off hourly, um, basically, and, and you talk about that more in the book, but usually starting off hourly till you figure it out. And then once you're kind of comfortable with it, then you can look at something like, oh, this, you know, this would probably be this amount of money. Is that pretty yeah. accurate? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, so in, I mean, so to give people an idea, so how have you had people come go through all this and then come back to you and be like, Oh, you know, Brian, thanks so much. I'm able to, I have my own business type deal and, or I'm making side income and that sort of thing. Have you had that happen? Oh yeah. I mean, oftentimes, I mean, I've got a, a whole page of testimonials uh, dating back several years on, on uh, the clean lots website. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, people will reach out to me and I offer free support. I, I, I need mm -hmm. to mention that I offer free support because the business works and, and it is such a simple business that for people to learn. I mean, I have no problem providing that free support to help people get started. But uh, in some cases, um, someone has never reached out to me for any type of, you know, free support questions or feedback. And then all of a sudden, you know, three, five years, seven years later, um, they'll, they'll shoot me an email and say, Brian, I just want to let you know, I bought your book six, you know, whatever, five years ago. Um, you know, I, I built the business, I scaled it, blah, 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 you know, and, and so every person's motivation is different. Um, some people just keep it as a side hustle. Uh, well, yeah. you know, one fellow, and I think it was North Carolina, um, you know, uh, he, um, uh, built his business just as a side hustle, but he, 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 uh, um, was, uh, contracted a number of, uh, Walmart super centers, uh, to, you know, to maintain their properties, uh, litter free. And he, he contacted me, said, Brian, you know, this was the best decision I ever made. I, I put both my kids through college and you know that was his motivation to get yeah. to, to do this and then other people um you know have uh you know started out um you know, as a simple one-man operation to learn the business got the experience and then you know recruited an army of people to do the litter cleaning for them now they run it full time uh kind of in a managerial role and you know they're they're you know they're doing six figures and you know uh again you know uh you know they said brian uh, and and the, those people i always ask them you know, it's unsolicited. You know, when I hear from these people, hey, heck, can I use you as a testimonial? Can yeah. I put it up my website? And, you know, those people are up on my website. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's really good for people to understand that this this doesn't just have to be, you know, where you're making three, four hundred bucks a month. I mean, you can you can go with it and really run with them. I mean, contracting Walmart super centers would be that's a gold mine, I'd imagine, uh, if you could pull that off. Uh, yeah. but generally speaking, I so okay, so if someone if someone were starting today, so I'm just going to take what, what I think I've learned and then you tell me if there's anything necessarily off on that. So basically someone starting today um, and obviously your book will walk them through in much greater detail. So anybody that's really looking cleanlots.com, definitely where you'd want to go to get it. Uh, but 
if you were starting off today, generally speaking, what you're going to do is you're going to start in your local area. You're going to really focus there. You're going to then contact people in whatever way is possible. As you said, LinkedIn is usually a good place because you can, you want to contact the property management companies uh, because yeah. generally speaking, they're going to be the ones that have the different properties. And also they're probably more likely to give you a shot because if you're knocking on doors, that's going to be a lot different. You'll probably talk to like the owners of a business, not necessarily the owners of the property. Um, so basically you would go probably LinkedIn, I would think like from my perspective would probably be the better place to reach out, contact them. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, no, that's, that's, that's the, the best place in terms of uh, the social, um, you know, whether it's Facebook yeah. or, you know, all the other platforms. So uh, this business works best uh, if you, if you've got a profile on LinkedIn, but, but yeah, uh, I guess even before that you set up a profile, you can just do a search online, like a Google search, you know, for okay. property management companies, Chicago or, or, uh, you know, real estate management companies, uh, Louisville, uh, et cetera. Yeah. And, you know, and then actually uh, the yellow pages has, uh, they no longer print the old uh, offline directories, but they still do have a presence online, yeah, they have uh, online. Yeah. you know, and so you can do a, a, a search, a yellow page listing, so property managers, uh, uh, Baltimore, and you'd be surprised how many property management companies uh, have a listing on yellow pages and, and you can, you know, get, a, you know, there could be 30 or 40 right there just from that one, um, you know, successful search or uh, online search. And, and there's so many others, that, there's so many other possibilities, um, you yeah. know, that where you can find prospects. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd just be about finding the prospects, then pitching them, trying to kind of get your foot in the door with one, you know, maybe two, whatever, bill them, you know, hourly in the beginning, because you really don't know much. You don't know what you don't know at that point. So bill them hourly, you know, and hopefully secure a job, maybe take away, like you said uh, earlier, one of the biggest reasons that this works is that those other uh, services are usually more costly, generally speaking. Um, they're more costly because they, they tend to uh, be built around a, a crew model. You know, they're, yeah. they're going to they make it all into crew. one solution versus yeah. a specialized. Or, or yeah. even if they have to send a uh, different crew out to do the, the litter cleaning, um, which typically oftentimes is during the day where you can't do a, a very good job. I mean, if you think about it, this service has to be done after hours, early, yeah. early morning hours before the business is open. So you can clearly see and clean everything, uh, you yeah. know, much the same way, uh, like a power sweeping, you know, like the street sweepers will go in and clean these parking lots. It's, it's done that time of day as well. Well, not during the day when businesses are open and, and vehicle traffic or vehicles are parked on top of a lot of this material. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's what, that's what you, uh, that's what you would do. Yeah. You just get there. And then after that you bill them and then you hopefully after, you know, you, you provide excellent customer service. I think that's the biggest thing. Cause I'm assuming most of these, you know, most of these businesses that are doing, it, it's kind of an afterthought. It's definitely not the primary. So when you're, you know, if you're an individual that's doing it and then you're maybe taking pictures or taking a video and sh like just sending it to your contact or whatever it is saying, Hey, you're all good to go. They're obviously going to appreciate that. So, um, yeah. Well, also, also one, one key thing too, is you need to find out what, uh, what the best tool is to use. I mean, there's all sorts of options out there. And, you know, um, if, if you watch that brief video that again is on, on my website, the homepage, um, you, it's about a three minute video. You'll see the tool that I use and how I use it to clean the parking lot. Yeah. And so important to, to, to use this particular tool or something very similar to it, as opposed to some other ones where, you know, some people just walk around with a, a, a bucket or a bag and one of these grabbing tools and that might work for the large objects, but it's not going to work for, you know, smaller items like cigarette butts. And, yeah. you know, I mean, the uh, litter material is cigarette butts, it's, it's uh, fast food wrappers, it's, uh, it's discarded coffee cups. And, you know, nowadays it's, uh, it's discarded used PPE. And uh, so you want to make sure you're using the best tool that, where you can provide the service in the most efficient and most profitable manner. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So yeah, so then you do that and then you get a few others. I mean, like I said, I got to talk about again, the book <laughs> that's going to give because he, I actually, I just so everyone understands. I did ask Brian to forward me over the book. I took a look through it and everything, and it is very in depth. Uh, and it's, it seems like a simple thing, and it is a pretty simple business, but there's definitely some intricacies there uh, that I think I think Brian brings out um, that one would want to uh, want to know. So one thing I have to ask, because uh, I think we're coming up to the end here, but one thing I do have to ask um, is, what do you do with all the the discarded trash? That's the <laughs> that's the question. Well, right? Oh well, that, well, that that's a great question. I mean, people oftentimes want to know well, what do you do with it, uh, and actually, it's quite simple. Is every one of your properties 
has waste bins on site uh, mm. for wet waste, uh, which is like trash material. And then also one, um, you know, for recyclable material, like, you know, broken down cardboard, et cetera. So, so every property you clean, uh, when your litter collection tool is, is full and you need to dump it, it's not like you're taking it home or having to put it in your vehicle or in a trash bag. You just uh, dump it into uh, one of the waste dumpsters or waste bins that's on site. And off you go to that's the next nice. property. Yeah, that's great. Because that's what I was wondering is do you have to do haul away? Because that adds a whole different dynamic to it. Um, but if you don't have to do that, that's obviously pretty nice too. So cool. Um, okay. Well, I think for the most part, I don't have any more questions. Um, if anyone's obviously looking, you can go to cleanlots.com uh, and you can get the book right now. Has it been priced at the same price? I don't want to say the price if it's going to ever change. So has it usually been at this price or? Yeah, it, it's kind of hit that sweet spot. Um, um, you know, there's the option of the, the download uh, ebook, uh, or some people prefer the hard copy. Okay. And so that costs a little bit more. And I didn't even realize that you had a, I didn't even realize that you had a high hard copy, but now I see yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah. that. Okay. And there, there's also on the website some uh, related products, um, like you know the um, the uh, business template package, uh, where if uh, it's easy to create the the same forms by just inserting your own contact information, and then there's also the business marketing video. Uh, if, if you choose to to purchase that, it's uh, uh, you know very affordable cost, but it helps you in terms of marketing your your service to prospects because they can actually see the work how it's being done. And yeah. so they get, they get a good idea in their head. Oh, okay. Now, now I understand this and, and it helps sell your service too. And it's, you know, some people uh, maybe don't have the best uh, command of the English language and maybe they, they, they speak with an accent. And so this video would help them in terms of uh, marketing the, the service. Yeah. Yeah. My wife is actually from Brazil. Um, and that's, that's a, a really big problem. Cause she's, I mean, she speaks fluently English, but I know in, I mean, in America, especially, I feel like a lot of people, when you, when you have a, a harsh accent or you're not always pronouncing things correctly, they kind of look down on you, uh, unfortunately, which I don't think is, I don't really agree with, but um, I definitely think that that's, that could be a big value add there uh, is just that video to kind of show people. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, that's what I love about the business is that it's just so, it's so simplistic in nature that, and it's just like, Hey, just plug it into your geographic area. <laughs> like yeah. that's really all it is. Like, it's just like, Hey, and you've given them everything. And just so everyone understands uh, the book, I'll, I'll just say it's under a hundred dollars is what I'll, what I'll tell you. And to, I mean, good luck starting even a website is going to be about the same cost just to start. And then you get all the content and time you put into it. This is a very, very much more immediate uh, path to income, I think. I think is, you know, if someone's really struggling, I'll tell you right now, when people are struggling and they're like, I don't know what to do, I'm actually going to point uh, a lot of people towards this because I think, generally speaking, it's simple. It can, you can get going and it really, the startup cost is super, super low uh, for, for what it is. So Yeah. So. Yeah, well, you know, it's almost like a franchise, except because you get the, the free support, but you don't have to pay the royalty fees yeah. and the franchise fees or anything like this. You, you're, you're, you, you purchase a proven business template and I'm, I'm here willing to work with you. Uh, like I, I have a saying, if you work your business, your business will work for you. Uh, yeah. Basically, that's all I expect in return is an honest effort. And, uh, and you'll, you'll get, uh, I'll, I'll work my butt off to, to, to help make sure that you are successful in, in your locale. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's great that you even offer that. I mean, especially, you know, not having a recurring cost to that uh, is pretty nice. So um, one last thing here before I let you go, just because I'm curious. So the support is that, is that usually through like email or like, do you have like a Facebook group or how do you, what, what do you usually do for that? Well, it, it's pretty simple. It, it's the, my contact information is in the book. So okay. um, you're given my email address and uh, my office phone number, the, the number of the phone rings on my desk. Okay. Well, yeah, you can't ask for any better than that. So <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, no, Brian, it was, it was a real pleasure to have you. And for those people, uh, you know, that watch us all the way through, you know, we appreciate it. Uh, again, Brian, you can find him cleanlots.com. Uh, he has that ebook and you know, it's, it sounds like you have basically the whole business, <laughs> like the business templates plus the, the video. I mean, I don't know what else someone would ask for. Uh, I think that you've made this as absolutely simple as you can. And, um, I just think I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a cool idea. So appreciate you having, or having you on here. Uh, any last words, anything else you want to say for the, for the audience? Um, well, you know, like, I, like I say, you know, if this is an opportunity that you'd like to investigate by all means, you know, check out the website. If it's not, you know, uh, 
by all means, keep looking. Um, you know, one of the books that inspired me when I uh, first got started was uh, The Millionaire Next Door. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Uh, I think written by Thomas Stanley, but but he profiles uh, America's millionaires, and by and large, they're they're everyday people that live down your block, uh, and you know, not in the biggest mansion, but they're successful in simple businesses. It might be a dry yeah. cleaning business. It might be a a grease disposal business. Uh, it, it might be a, a parking lot litter cleaning business. Uh, yeah. They're not always glamorous, but you know, look for opportunities, you know, w- where you can make money and you would enjoy doing. And th- that's the whole key, I think. Uh, you know, don't chase the bucks and the and the glamorous, or you know, some of these sexy opportunities. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, <laughs> you can make a fortune in one of these unsexy businesses. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and do you do you cover scaling in the book as well? Like the idea of of scaling further beyond yourself, or no? Yeah, that, that's that's touched upon. Um, okay. But basically, that's one of the reasons why I provide the free support. If, if people, you know, want to uh, take it to the next level, they can always ask me, Brian, you know, how did you do it? You know, when you got what, what, you know, when you got to this level, what did you do? Cool, cool. Okay, well, yeah, before another uh, question pops into my head, because there's quite a bit of them. Um, I'm just going to tell everyone, you guys just go, just go really go to his website. I've seen the book myself. It's really good. Just go there look into that uh, and just check it out. I think it's such a good opportunity. So Brian, thanks again for, uh, for coming on the the YouTube channel here. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thanks Ron. I appreciate it. The opportunity. No problem. So there it is, you guys. That is Brian and his whole story about how he got started with cleaning, you know, commercial, uh, parking lots, which is such a weird and awesome, awesome business. I personally love these things, these unsexy businesses that are like, yeah, I guess they they do have to keep happening because like something like this, there's much less competition than there is online, right? There's a lot of online competition with this. There's not that much uh, competition. And as you heard from Brian, you know, he's been able to scale this actually pretty large and built out a whole team and, and built an army of people, as he calls it, to help him with this. And he just kind of is able to kind of sit back and, you know, play the managerial role, which is pretty awesome and great for him. So it was an absolute pleasure to have him on here. Thank you so much, uh, Brian. If you see this, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, but otherwise, guys, yeah, uh, make sure that you click on the like button. Make sure that you click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave it in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys thought. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.